Everything's falling apart and it feels like I can't do anything about it. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, helping those in need. I wanted to talk to you about dealing with really big problems, right? Because it seems like the earth right now has lots of really, really big problems. You know, there's people who are sick and there's people who are in danger and there's all kinds of terrible stuff happening to the planet and there's just all kinds of bad stuff going on. It seems like that's all I ever hear about is people talking about bad stuff and really big bad stuff. There are so many people out there who need help. There's so many things that need doing. And I'm just me. I'm just one little Douglas and the world has so many big problems. I wish I could just give the whole world one big hug because there's so many hurting people. But I can't even, you know, wrap my arms around a watermelon, let alone the world. And so I've really been, you know, upset about this for a while. I, I, I've been I've been really frustrated and, and angry and and feeling like like I'm worthless, like I can't do anything. But I think I know what I'm supposed to do. You know, instead of just going bananas, I decided I was going to sit down, I was going to pray, and I was going to read my Bible, and I was going to, you know, talk to people that I respect and look up to and, and see what they think. And I wanted to share the stuff that I've been learning through this. And I, I would totally suggest that you do the same thing that I did, you know, the, the sit down and pray and read your Bible and talk to people that you look up to, ask for their advice. But I want to share the stuff that I've been learning in the hopes that maybe it'll help you too. And first of all, I think it's important for us to recognize that the problems in this world are super big and we cannot fix them all. Only God can fix the world's problems. We might have been the ones to mess it up, but it's only God who can fix it. But you can be a part of God's plan to make the world a better place. God wants to use you to help. You know, the Bible says that the church is like the body of Christ, right? All believers are a part of of the body of Christ. And it's our job to share the good news of Jesus Christ, to share God's love with the whole world. You know, it's funny because I learned the other day that like muscles really don't do a whole lot. Yeah, most muscles, they can only do two things. They can squeeze and release and that's it. But like I can, you know, dance and I can, I can walk and I can run and I can do all kinds of stuff. I can do a lot more than just squeeze and release. And that's because I got all kinds of muscles and bones and ligaments and all kinds of stuff working together to make something happen. I feel like a lot of people are looking at the big problems of the world and thinking, well, I can't do anything about the big problems, so I'm going to do nothing. And that's not good. You may not be able to do a whole lot, but the little bit that you can do, God can use to make big things happen. Now, like, I'm not super, I'm not like a doctor or anything like that, so I don't know all the different bones and all the different muscles and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure that my pinky toe, I can wiggle my pinky toe. And wiggling my pinky toe doesn't do a whole lot, but I'm pretty sure that when I take a step, I'm wiggling that pinky toe. It might not seem like a whole lot, but it's part of the action of taking a step. It helps. And you may not have a whole lot, you may not be able to do a whole lot, and that's okay. Just do what you can, and God will take care of the rest. And so if you are looking at all the problems in the world like I've been, and you are just losing your mind going bananas, I want you to take a deep breath. <sighs> and I want you to realize that you can't fix all the world's problems. God can. You can't. But you can do something. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Like maybe you don't have a lot of money, and so you can't give a lot of money if you don't have a lot of money. But maybe you've got a little money, and you could give a little bit of that little money to someone in need and God could take that and do big things with it. And maybe you don't have a lot of time, but you could take a little bit of the little bit of time that you do have and share God's love with someone with that little bit of time. Maybe there aren't many people that you know of that are struggling, but maybe you know somebody who's struggling. Or maybe you know somebody who knows somebody who's struggling. You don't have to help a million people. You could help just one person. And you don't have to fix all their problems. You can just help with what you can help with. You don't have to change the world to change the world. Any good thing that you do, no matter how little it is, God can use to do big things. And I'm not saying don't try to do big things. Some people have done some really big, amazing, cool things, and that's awesome. And we should look up to them and try to imitate them. But you can't do everything yourself. But you can do something. And even the littlest, tiny baby toe can help move the body of Christ to help further the kingdom of God.